was born and raised in Peckham in the 1950s, when London was still recovering from the Second World War. Sites like this had been a common sight in and around London during the Blitz, and underground train stations became a favourite shelter, if you had one nearby. There were still some bombsite areas that were fenced off to the public in the early 50s, but big adventure playgrounds to the youngsters of the time, like me. Between October 1940 and June 1941, the London Blitz, a total of 49 high-powered explosive bombs were dropped in the Peckham area by the Germans. I lived in Raw Road in a council flat with my parents but never gave it a thought at the time that the flats we were living in had been built in the early 1950s after a German high-powered bomb wiped out the centre of the road. This is a simulation from early 1941 when two bombs fell in close proximity, one in Rule Road and one in Hanover Park which runs parallel. Twelve houses had been destroyed altogether, six each side of the road, and another four in Hanover Park. The rest of the houses had sustained damage as shown in the quay. It must have been a frightening experience for the residents of those homes, and must have resulted in loss of life and serious injury. When you try and find out what happened from searching the newspaper archives, it's like it never happened. All reports are lacking information, and exact locations. House numbers 9 to 20 were the ones involved in this in Rural Road. According to the 1939 register there was a total of 54 adults and 6 children residing in these homes. I don't know if they had any prior warning of the attack but I think that is unlikely. In Hanover Park 4 houses were destroyed 30, 32, 34 and 36. I know of one death that occurred here but there could be more. The circle on the drawing above Sicily Road shows where a V1 rocket fell in 1944. Lots of homes were destroyed here and in the 1950s I remember a row of prefabs had been built here. Such a lot of bomb damage in such a small area here. But this was pretty general throughout London. Here is a photo of Hanover Park in January 1943 showing severe bomb damage. The largest loss of life in one incident in Peckham was on June the 22nd 1944 when a V1 missile hit a corset factory on the corner of Peckham Rye and Nunhead Lane. 24 young girls in their late teens and early 20s lost their lives. The factory had been used for making silk parachutes during the war. This illustration is an artist's impression of the corset factory which exploded. And I tend to doubt the authenticity of this because where I've arrowed on the side you can clearly see half of the name McCarroll Road. And McCarroll Road is a turning off of Hanover Park, which is nowhere near where the corset factory was on Peckham Rye. 30 V1 missiles fell on Peckham in a two month period alone, killing 200 people in all. A mile to the east of Peckham at New Cross Gate, 168 people were killed when a V2 rocket struck a Woolworth and a co-op shop at midday on the 25th of November 1944 at 12.26pm on a busy shopping Saturday. The aftermath resembled battlefield carnage. 168 people were killed outright and some of them in the neighbouring co-op and some at desks in nearby offices. Of the victims, 33 were children including babies in prams. 
Meanwhile, 123 passers-by were injured, many seriously. It was one of the worst losses of civilian life on British soil during the Second World War. I'm going to end this video now with a couple of eyewitness reports from my father from the war years. When the RAF broke down a uh, German bomber at Deptford, which is about um, five minutes bike ride away from us, it was um, a night when we was all fire watching the, uh, in the streets, and a uh, crowd of us up there, well, there must have been about 30 of us up the top, by the Duke Cambridge, and uh, the drone of bombers and the, the old uh, ACAC blasting away at them. Suddenly the guns stopped, and uh, some fall out, panic stations, you know, about run out of shells and everything like that. Suddenly we, we could hear the, the thin whine of a, a fighter just before this bomber got out of uh, the way. The old um, night fighter let him have it. You could see, uh, like, um, a row of fireworks, you know, red tracer shells, one and four, going into the bomber. And then we heard him whine as he knows his life on the deck. He crashed at death. Cunningham got them, old uh, cat sized Cunningham. That was a thrilling episode that was, that was a, you know, a sort of, I think we all gave three round in, you know, three round in cheers. The bomb fell on the houses that were backing on to uh, John Don. The master's house, the, the um, caretaker's house was wiped out and the two houses next to him and also the um, the front part of John Don and we caught the blast. Every window was out including the frames, there's no frames at all. Mother volunteered to uh, look after a, a baby for a few minutes and the uh, the mother left the, the, the mother of this child left him out in a pram and when the old um, flying bomb cut out a mark could hear it whistling down. She immediately, instead of going straight to the shelter, she immediately ducked outside the front and shielded the baby with a head over the pram and caught the flying glass in her neck. And I came home and nobody was there except the dog, Pat, and he was lying in a, a mess of glass, entirely uh, free from glass. He, was, he wasn't injured in any, any shape or form, whatever. So I dashed round to the first aid place which was around Hanover Park and saw mother was all right but she was a bit shaken and then I dashed home and set about clearing up the place. They had one mess of glass.